There's been studies done on this that anywhere from 10, 20 percent to 60 percent of a knowledge workers day, which is all of us working online or working in the, you know, in the knowledge ex expertise space, um, any, anywhere from sort of 20 to 50, 60 percent of people's days being spent doing process driven, trainable and therefore delegatable tasks. I'm not saying a VA can do all of those, but a lot of them, the reality is a lot of them are like that. And if you have three of those people in your business, and let's say on average, they're earning 100, 150 grand each. It doesn't take long to do the math to go, if you take 30% off their plate, what have you actually done? Maybe, you, maybe you're thinking about it this way, going, we've hired an offshore virtual assistant. But if you can take 30% off three people's plate, what you've actually done is created another one of them. And my argument would be, what would another one of them achieve with that time? And that's the way to think about this. And realistically, I think one of the reasons I was successful at building this business is I looked at my own time that way from day one. And I everything I did, I processed it up. I looked at it really strategically and was like, could I teach somebody to do this? It's a bit pain, it's a bit painful sometimes. And people don't want to slow down and teach somebody. Could I process map this? Could I train this? Could I get someone doing 80% of this and I might only have to do 10% or 15% oversight? And I did that the whole way along. I had to do it because I was a mom, right, as well. Um, and I just kept doing that over and over and over again. And what ended up happening is I created a business that was, that was a machine that was full of delegation. And I was only ever really using my time for very strategic things, even strategic thought. I mean, my, you know, if I'm the one producing the ideas and the creativity, it's not the case anymore that it's just me. But in the early days, it was just me and a few VAs. That's really how it started. Um, and I got good at, at ops because I was good at delegating and figuring out systems and optimizing things was really where I found I was quite successful at those things.